Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a first episode of cooking from the pantry where I'm solely going to try and cook the meals with the stuff we have in our pantries in the cupboards. It's not going to be easy and unfortunately with the price of the tins now it's not going to be cheap but we need to know what to do with the stuff in our cupboards. So in today's episode we are cooking a meal called dal which is basically an Indian meal and it's stewed lentils with um, tin tomatoes and a load of spices. So let's get started. So guys, so for this recipe we need lentils. You can use a red or green lentils. I have a big cup full of them. We need about 650 milliliters of stock, which I've used my Lidl's Newgate vegetable cube. So I've got one cube in there. I've got a handful of dehydrated and rehydrated onions. Um, of course, the fresh ones will be better, but again, we don't have them in our pantry, so here we are. We've got tin of tomatoes, we've got coconut milk, we'll have some cumin, we have ginger, again, the fresh ginger will be nicer, but we don't have one. We have the coconut cooking oil, coconut oil. We have some paprika, I've got sweet and chili paprika. We have some coriander, a tablespoon of coriander, Poo. <laughs> tablespoon of coriander, tablespoon of curry powder of your choice, and I've got a tablespoon of cumin. So let's get to the hob and start cooking. So first things first, hob is on. I'll put it on medium heat. I'm putting in a tablespoon of coconut oil in there. Let it melt. And then we're adding on our freshly non-fresh onions. <laughs> they are crispy, which is good. If you watch my stocking up video, I did mention that they're actually a pretty good substitute. So we mix it up together, guys, and we'll let it fry for a little bit. So we can see they started to, um, the batter is melted, the oil, sorry. So what we're going to do now, we're going to add on all our spices, okay? So we're adding on the curry powder. This will wake up the smell and the taste of the spices. We've got the coriander. We've got cumin. And adding on a bit of ginger. Ooh. Okay. And we've got paprika coming in. Helps if I get a spoon. Get a spoon of paprika. And let's mix it in. It's really strange, guys, I must say. It's the first, obviously, the series. I've been thinking of this for a while. And it's very strange for me to cook with just dried ingredients. Like, no fresh onion, no fresh stuff. It's just, it's very strange. But we're going to do what we're going to do. Okay, so we'll let this cook for a minute. Right, I'm going to add on some turmeric. They give it a nice golden colour. Okay, right. So, the main thing now, guys, I've just turned the heat down for a bit. I am adding on some tin tomatoes first. You can drain them, I don't bother. If you don't drain them, you can have to put less water in there for your lentils. Okay. Throw it in. Mix up. It smells lovely, I must say. Okay, got that in. I'm putting the lentils in now. Mix it up again. Doesn't really matter because we're going to put the stock in in a minute. And we're pouring in our 650ml of stock. Here we go. Give it a mix. I chose to use a wok, but... You can use a normal saucepan, that's fine. 
So basically what we want, we want to boil the lentils or simmer the lentils until they soak in all of this lovely tasty liquid. Okay, so all mixed in there, so I'm just going to let them simmer, put it on probably six and let them simmer, take this out, and let them simmer, simmer? <laughs> simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes. So guys, it's now been simmering for about half an hour and we can see this is really now getting to a really nice perfect stage. So what I'm going to do is add on a little bit of the coconut cream. I'm not putting all of it in because I think it's a little bit too much. It's looking good and it's smelling good. Okay. We'll just let it warm up for a second. Here we are guys, look at that. We are ready. Okay, it took just a tad longer than I thought, but look at that little creaminess. The coconut just makes it absolute beauty. And it smells amazing. This dish is going to be to share between me and my husband, but you easily feed like four people. So basically, yeah, it's great. It doesn't look that colourful if you have some fresh herbs and... I do have some in the back, but it's really, really raining out there, so I wasn't prepared to go out and do, but basically pick some fresh coriander, sprinkle some on the top, and it's lovely. Sorry, let me put that back. So basically, yes, guys, this is what we have in the end, and this, I've tried this before, and it is really, really good. It, of course, it will taste better with the fresh onions and more of the fresh ingredients there, but from the pantry, I think this is really a winner. It's really sort of comforting winter food, so... Yes. Well, anyway, so hopefully guys you enjoyed this. Again, do apologize. This is the first time, this is the first trial video I'm trying to do with the things with cooking from the pantry alone. Um, if you do have any suggestions, any ideas, please comment below. Obviously, I wanted to improve and make sure that the filming and everything else is kind of how you guys want to watch it. So please comment below and um, well, hopefully we'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.